Hey YouTube family, um, this is a completely impromptu video, like I had no intentions on doing a video today but I just thought about you guys and I had a couple of tips to share with you. Um, today's Mother's Day so you know I'm a mother so I'm going out today and oh by the way happy Mother's Day to all my subscribers who are mothers and the fathers out there who do the job of mothers because there are a lot of single fathers out there too even though people don't give them much credit but happy Mother's Day to you guys as well. But anyway, um, yeah, so I still have the same braid out in my hair. And, you know, the braid out still looked really nice. And I really need to wash my hair. But I didn't want to go through braiding it and be twisting it still because it, it looked really good. So I went onto a friend's, I mean, one of my subscribers' pages. I forgot her name. But I'll put it at the bottom so that you can go to her link so you can see the whole process. Well, I think she just explains it the same way I'm going to. But anyway, so I went to the store and I bought this Herbal Cleanse Dry Shampoo. And I just, you know, opened it and squeezed through all the parts of my hair. And massaged it in for a good three minutes. And I took a, a hot rag, a hot towel. And I actually just like scrubbed in between each part um, to get the, the excess residue of the dry shampoo out. So after I did that, you know, you know, the curl still stayed, but I needed to retwist the front. So whenever I do a retwist in between shampooing, I don't use product. Um, because my the product is still in my hair, so there's no reason to use product again. A lot of people use product every single time they retwist, even if they don't even if they don't shampoo it which is not good because that causes buildup because the other stuff is still in your hair and then you're adding more product on top of that so I don't do that so basically I just use my same water in um, an oil mixture and I just sprayed the roots of the areas that I wanted to retwist and I just retwisted just the roots and put a clip and I just did that throughout the whole front, like like you see here. The back still hasn't been touched, so you still see it. It still has the, the curls, the leftover, the leftover um, crinkles from when I did the original video. So I just wanted to show, share with you guys how I do a touch-up in between shampoos. Um, the herbal pens worked really well. Um, I don't feel like my hair is clean. I mean, like my hair is not clean, but my scalp doesn't have that itchy feeling that it was happening before so I guess my scalp is clean but my hair still hasn't been washed but I'll come back and show you the results. Okay I'm back. So this is how it looks. Looks like it's completely done over. <laughs> but like I said I just did the front and the back is still the same. So, this is my Mother's Day look. I put some makeup on, obviously, and just with some neutral colors. It's like a, a light gold and some browns and a pink lip gloss. So, this is it. So, I just thought I'd show you, you know, the quick way to touch up a, a mold braid out without having to go through completely washing it. So, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great Mother's Day. Until next time.